Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout in PFL between Clay Collard versus Patricky Pitbull. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going to average confidence Patricky Pitbull to beat um, Clay Collard. And um, yeah, how do I feel about this one? Clay Collard got okay wrestling defense. Not the best. Definitely exploitable. Definitely exploitable. Striking. Really lacking in the power department, but he put up volume. He has good boxing combinations, you know, pretty good boxing skills. He was able to have an okay journeyman-like career in boxing. Nothing super phenomenal, but he was able to have far more success than he should have. And, you know, you know, he's able to hold his own with some, or, you know, give a good account for himself against some guys, you know, decent guys. But, um, yeah, this is MMA. I feel like Patricky Pitbull, you know, is a very solid striker in his own right. I feel like he's much more well-rounded. I feel like he could finish his fight on the ground. I feel like he finished his fight on the feet. And I feel like he has more high-level experience than Clay Collard does, particularly in MMA. I'm not going to say boxing, but particularly in MMA, he has, I feel like he has a wealth of experience at a higher level than Clay Collard. You know, so you could say Clay Collard fought Max Holloway, but that was on the come-up. He didn't fight championship Max Holloway. He, fought, he didn't fight championship um, Pettis. He fought the has-been Pettis and whatnot. You know, he fought Olivia Alvin Mercier, but I remember, like, you know, OAM at his best is just a mid-level UFC light. So I'm like, He's not, hasn't really fought no one like that. We have to say Patricky Pitbull has fought high level competition. People that are like, you know, Krim de la Krim. But anyway, yeah, I feel like um, Patricky Pitbull can attack his leg, you know, play kind of like a boxing style so you can blast his legs and have him limping and have him switching stances. I feel like he can touch him with big shots when Clay Collar trying to jab his way in, come on top, touch him on his temple, shake him up. And I also feel like he can mix and take them. I feel like he's just a more around the fighter. And I feel like he has more threats. And I feel like he can mix it up. And he has been able to mix it up. He's not just a guy that just goes out there for the knockout. Brainless. I feel like he went out there and grappled up to get wins. He went out there to strike wins. He put out submissions. And again, I feel submissions is very open for him there. But I'm going to say this. Like, I was tough and durable. And I think uh, Patricky Pitbull is going to touch him with some big power. Again, attack the legs and mix and takedowns at times. When Clay Collar, you know, tries to get over aggressive. You know, try to change the pace up. I feel like he'll mix it up. But all I just feel like he'll be the better overall fighter, and I think he gets the job done. So, well, not finished, but I think he gets the victory. And I think it's going to be a clear enough decision. I don't think it's going to be some, such a back-and-forth fight. I think it's going to be competitive, but I think it's going to be clear who's winning the rounds and making the better decisions and ultimately having the better skill set and better utilizing their toolbox and their toolkit. So, in this one, I got Patricky Pitbull via decision.